Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding a calculate function. So in this calculate function, we will be seeing filter using inside the calculate function and filter that is not being used in a calculate function. Of course, we all know that calculate function has a default filter inside that. So what is the difference between that and the, the extra filter being added? So we'll go to go into the details. You can see calculate it evaluates an expression in a modified filter context. So so if you are using an expression, when you use that expression inside the calculate function, it will change the context of the filter and you can add the filters inside the calculate functions. So at the same time, if you use a filter inside the calculate function, you know the first expression, okay, even in the expressions itself or in the if statements or the nested if statements, we all know that, okay, the inside function will be done or the inside filter will be done, then the outside filters will be evaluated. So when you write a filter inside the calculate function, first the filter will be executed and after that the calculate filter will be executed. So in this case, if you see this case, so we have a channel column, we have unit price and if you want to use the calculate function to get the sum of this unit price with respect to any other column any other column means here we have lots of other columns with respect to the code then we can use the calculate function it will be like calculate sum of unit price and and then you can write a put a comma and then you can write it as code equals to whatever code name is so it will be shown here perfectly but at the same time, if you want to uh, use the same column as the filter function, then it will be difficult for that you have to use it as a calculate function because if you are if you want to know only about the import unit price and if you write a calculate function with it, then the answer will be or the result will be when you be spread throughout this column. That means, okay, for the export also, for the import also, and for the industries also, we will be getting this 53,868. So why it happens is that, okay, first calculate expression, it will do the expression and then it will filter and then it will show. But here with the problem is we are showing it inside another table also. So one more filter is needed to show it on another, another table. We will see it, what happens because see this case, this case and this case will be totally different. If you, if you use an additional filter in this case, then you will get the exact result. Otherwise, the result will be spread out to all the rows. So this example itself, we will check it one more time. So you can see that filter returns a table containing only the filtered rows. So in this case, what we need is that we need only import values. So first we will use that fill import as inside the filters. So that will get that will give the result and that result will be returned in a table. That table you can just call it in the calculate function. So calculate function won't take any of these or any of these other rows. Calculate function will be using only that table and calculate function evaluates that expression with that table, with that filter and it will show the result. So only in that exact import place, you will be getting the exact result. You can see it in the example. We can go and take the table itself. So in this table, we are taking the channel unit price. We'll increase the phone so that everybody will be easy for them to see. So channel and unit cost. So we need only for import, how much is the unit cost? That means only this 29,000 we need to see. So we will create a measure for that new measure. So we will write it as without filter equals to calculate and it is the sum of unit cost and then we will write the filter here which have, and the filter is channel equals import and we will check it here so you see the import row is having 29000 the same is showing in all the all the rows that means for export and the industries also that is because it is taking the total cost and then it is filtering the import. Actually, first we need to filter the input, filter the import and then you need to go for the expression. So for that, what we can do is that, so obviously whatever comes inside, whatever filter comes inside this calculate method, that filter will be processed first, then only this filter will be processed. So before this filter or before anything can be processed, first we need to return a table where we will have only the import, where we will have only this 29,000. So we can use a filter function inside this. So we will use it with filter equals to calculate sum of unit cost. And now we will use this filter. The table name is medicine and 
the channel is import so now so now the problem now you see first itself it will filter this it will go and filter this and it will get the result of import and then it will take the sum of that in so only this 29000 will be shown instead of all these so you can you can try it here inside so we can see the only this 29000 is shown here so whenever this kind of uh, things happens in all the rows the same value is repeating in all the rows make sure that okay you use a filter function inside that so that the exact value will be can because when you put it inside the this uh, visual table once again the filter context will come into play and so we need a filter exact filter for that so we need to use that filter dax function and get the exact value for that so this is one good help and if you if you are getting a result like this you can change it here so you be aware that okay you filter function is there and you can use this filter function hope it was an important video have a nice day